What's up guys, welcome back to the Educated Barfly. Today we have an awesome Negroni style cocktail uh, brought to us from Attaboy, Zachary Gelnob Rubin in 2015. But before we do that, I wanna talk about one of our video's sponsors. Today we have a sponsorship from, dun 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 dun, Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a subscription box service for guys that helps guys who give a damn upgrade their lives, whether it's mixing better drinks or traveling in style or upgrading your apartment. Each box contains probably about 70 bucks worth of stuff. Um, and it is awesome, very useful stuff. Uh, I have not opened this box, but I do know what is inside of it. And I think that we're gonna have a lot of fun with this. Um, the great part about the $70 worth of stuff, and sometimes quite a bit more than 70 bucks, is that it's $45 a box. Uh, you can switch out a box at any time. You can cancel very easily. It's a very easy service to do. And I really like the stuff that comes. So let's open this box and find out what's inside. Well, I know, but I haven't opened it. Let's see what's in here. You guys are gonna see what's in here. So here we go, we're gonna open it up. I'm gonna pull this if I can get my hands on it. There we go. Whoa, cool. So we got a, hey, get a head start on Father's Day. Look at that, we got a little card. And then we got a little info card that tells us what it is. So it's called Aged. Uh, it has something to do with spirits. I'm assuming it's an aging kit. Tweak your favorite cocktail by adding two new ingredients, oak and patience. There you go, you guys gotta be patient. If you can stand the weight barrel aging your own cocktails, just like the pros do at some of the best bars in the country, we will pay off big time. The aging kit contains a bottle to hold your drink, a toasted oak stave for a rich and woody complexity and cheesecloth to stain it, strain, not to stain it, but to strain it uh, once you're ready to pour. And uh, once your aging is finished, pour into Simply's hand-blown, lead-free, pure crystal glasses. Wow, cool, dude. We got like a, like, I think there's glassware in here too. Oh yeah, awesome. There's lots of cool stuff in here. So we've got our toasted oak staves right here. Okay, and then we've got our aging bottle here. Oh, here's our cheesecloth, it looks like. We've got our aging bottle here. Open it up. Oh, it's like a nice little spirit bottle. That's pretty cool. And then we've got our glassware. Sweet. Well, the question is, what are we gonna age? I'm glad that we chose a Negroni. Maybe we shall age a Negroni. Um, or age another cocktail. So here we go. Oh, we got these cool, that's cool glassware. Look at that, look at that. It's pretty cool. I like that. These are, these are really stylish, nice glasses. All right, so I'm gonna put these back. This is what I think we're gonna do with this, guys. I just had a brilliant idea. This is what we're gonna do. We are going to age a cocktail. We're gonna age some gin in here, I think. We're gonna take some gin, we're gonna put some oak staves in there. We're gonna read the ingredients, which is right here, I guess. We're gonna eat, read the ingredients and we're going to age something. And then we are going to make a bespoke cocktail for bespoke post, which I just thought of now. And I think that's pretty cheeky and good. Um, so there you have it. Very, very nice. So we want to thank Bespoke Post for uh, helping to sponsor this episode. I'm gonna put all this stuff down and I will also say, look in the show notes for a discount code. Uh, click on the link and get 20% off your Bespoke Post order. All right, let's get into making the cocktail that we're gonna do today. So the cocktail today is called Jane Says. All right, Jane Says, Jane Does. Now I'm getting my, I'm getting, I have to look in my notes now, dude, because I got like, is it, there's, oh, not Jane Says, which is, a, it's not Jane Does, which is another cocktail, and it's not Jane Says, which is a really, 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 really good song uh, from uh, that band with, uh, you know, uh, Jane's Addiction. Uh, it is a, called a uh, uh, Dear Jane, and it is a Negroni variation. We're putting that there. All right, let's get into it. We're just gonna build this into the glass, my friends. So first thing we are gonna do is one ounce of Campari into our glass. One ounce of Plymouth Gin. I like to use Plymouth because it is kind of a little bit lower in the uh, juniper and a little bit higher in the citrus notes. And it does uh, these cocktails very nicely. And you want to have some citrus notes in your Negronis uh, because Kambari and citrus goes very well. Uh, we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of sweet vermouth. And then 
because a lot of you guys have been asking me what to do. What do I do with my uh, elderflower liqueur, my St. Germain? Um, this is one cocktail that you can do with your St. Germain and I will be doing a few more for you guys as well. Quarter of an ounce of St. Germain. Then we're just gonna add a big old rock of ice. And give it a stir. Stir it down. Now, these cocktails you don't have to stir all the way down to temp if you don't want because it's going to be sitting on a big rock of ice for its life. Um, so, you don't have to like break your balls about stirring it. You know what I did forget this episode is my citrus zest. Now, usually for Campari variations, for Campari variations, for Negroni variations, you would be doing an orange peel. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lemon peel because Lemon is gonna be a lot sharper and a little bit less sweet uh, than orange will be. And I think it goes beautifully. So there we have it. Uh, the Dear Jane, let's have a sip of it. Oh yeah. You know, it's funny because, you know, Campari, which goes very, very well with citrus, when you spritz orange over it, you get a like kind of one characteristic like of the Campari, but then when you spread, spritz a lime with lemon over it, you get a completely different characteristic. It's so much brighter. It's so much more like sharp. It's like the sweet notes become very sharp. And you get that nice like sharp citrus character to it. Um, you can do orange definitely. I really like uh, lemon in this cocktail. So I decided that I was gonna make it um, with lemon for you guys, uh, but it is just so, I also think that that lemon really helps the uh, St. Germain, that elderflower sort of come to the surface, but it's nicely balanced. You have the gin, you've got your Campari, obviously you're never gonna get rid of that back palate bitterness from the Campari and it's, gonna, it's going to be a dominant force in every cocktail. You just wanna make sure that with, co with cocktails with Campari, you don't, it doesn't dominate the entire flavor profile. Um, so you got your gin, you've got your Campari, um, you can taste the sweet vermouth, but what's and like kind of those like kind of herbal notes for the sweet vermouth, but then also that like little twinge of uh, Saint Germain just comes in that right at the end. It's like that very particular kind of sweetness that only elderflower liqueur can kind of provide. Um, and it's it, it, like this stuff tastes so good that I have heard it called bartender's ketchup because like you just like, if your cocktail isn't, if like you're creating a cocktail and it's not working, you just put a little Saint Germain and everything's gonna be good. It's just gonna like, it's gonna take, it's gonna, it's gonna make everything cohesive. It's gonna like pull everything together and make it taste wonderful. Um, I love St. Germain. I think it's a really great product. I just think it needs to be used very wisely. And if it is used wisely, then there is really nothing like it, I gotta say. So there you have it, my friends, the Dear Jane from Zachary Gelnar Rubin at Attaboy in 2015. Go drink it. And if you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe. Definitely check out the bespoke post link in the show notes and for your 20% off and uh, check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash educated barfly. I will see you guys next time.